Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be proving to you that 0 divided by 0 is equal to 2. So, for my proof, I'm going to first start with 0 over 0. <clears throat> and this is the same thing as... 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 because 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 is still 0 over 0. And now 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1, this is also the same thing as 10 minus 10 over 10 minus 10. These two are the same thing because at the end, they're both 0 over 0. And 10 minus 10 over 10 minus 10, that's the same thing as 100 minus 100 over 100 minus 100. All right, so this is where we change lanes a little. So 100 minus 100 over 100 minus 100 Well, 100 is the same thing as 10 times 10, right? So 10 times 10 is the same thing as 10 squared. So for my numerator, I'm going to rewrite 100 minus 100 as 10 squared minus 10 squared. And for the, my denominator, I'm going to rewrite 100 as 10 times 10. And these two are the same thing. 10 times 10 is the same thing as 10 squared. And at the end of the day, 10 squared minus 10 squared is 0. And 10 times 10 minus 10 times 10 is 0 as well. Now, for 10 squared minus 10 squared, what I can do, use is an algebraic property that states that if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So 10 squared minus 10 squared is going to equal 10 plus 10 times 10 minus 10. And now I have this over 10 times 10 minus 10 times 10. What I'm going to do is factor out 10 from this. So if I factor out 10, I get 10 times 10 minus 10. Now, we have 10 minus 10 divided by 10 minus 10, so I can simply cancel these two out. So this results in 10 plus 10 over 10. And now 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. So I get 20 over 10, and 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. So there you have it. I just proved that 0 over 0 is equal to 2. Now, obviously, this is not a true statement. 0 over 0 is not equal to 2. And if you're wondering where I made the error, it's right over here on this step where I canceled out 10 minus 10 over 10 minus 10. But remember how 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. So this is implying that 0 divided by 0 is 1, but 0 divided by 0 is not 1. It's indeterminate, so this is wrong. 